So we want to sell the products, right? The products are usually imported into the city by seaports. Okay, let's look at the seaports because this is the place where uh, the products comes from. Anyway, let's check the first seaport. So this one imports nylon, which we cannot sell in the retail store. Then we have power supply unit, which we also cannot sell in the store. I think uh, it is part of the computer. If we had a production plant or factory that manufactures the computer. Next, we have linseed oil, which is also part of manufacturing process. So it's not a sellable product. Then we have talcum powder and we can sell it in general store, supermarket, convenience store, drug store, cosmetic store, hypermarket or shopping mall. Sounds good. It has 64 quality. You can see it here. In the product detail, you see that imported products have usually zero brand, but it has much higher quality compared to the average product that sells in the city at a lower price, like three times lower price, 0.22 dollars compared to 0.67. So this will be a good product to sell because there's no competition at all. The competition is more expensive. It has lower quality score, but it has a brand, so people buy it anyway. Okay, let's keep in mind that we can sell talcum powder Let's check another seaport. In this seaport, we can uh, import maple syrup, which has also a good overall rating. We can sell baby buggy, but this product can only be sold in uh, big stores like department store, discount mega store, hypermarket or shopping mall. Next, we have coconut biscuit, which we can sell in supermarket or convenience store, which is also higher overall rating than city competitor. Next, we have apples and there is huge discrepancy in the uh, overall rating. See, city competitor has only 9, whilst the imported product has 79. Wow. I think apples is another product we can sell because of the huge difference in the overall rating. In this seaport, we can uh, import sugar. This is also huge, huge overall rating compared to closest competitor. The leather belt, I think it would sell well, but the difference in the overall rating is not that huge. But it has also higher margin, higher priced product. And with higher priced product, you don't have to sell much of it to make money compared to, for example, sugar. You have to sell tons of tons of sugar for 45 cents to make the same amount of money you would make by selling these leather belts for $11. Then we have dog food, which we can also sell in convenience store and shoe polish shoe polish can also be sold in convenience store cool in this seaport we can uh, import canned apricots that has really high overall rating of 80 we can sell toast bread that has close to 90 percent of the overall rating this one is really good i think people will fight for the bread just for its quality and the price then we have frozen spinach spanish what is the pronunciation in English anyway? The rating is 80, so it's also high. And lastly, cheddar cheese. Okay, the next seaport sells adhesive, which we cannot sell. Mouthwash base, which we also cannot sell. Vulcanized rubber and salt. All of these products are used in manufacturing, so we cannot sell them in retail store. This seaport sells remote control with over rating of 100. Wow. And it doesn't have a competitor. Very interesting. So if I open like electronic store, I would have a monopoly for this product. But wait, we cannot sell it in retail stores. Why? Does it mean that this is a part of television? Okay, we will find out later. We can import brochures, but that's also not sellable. Then we have base chemicals and electronic components. Okay. In this seaports, we can uh, import grapes. That has also a high quality score. We can uh, sell meat. No, we cannot. Then there's a fresh water, which we also cannot sell. And a wort, all of which is a part of manufacturing process. And the last import offers clothes. That's refreshing. So we can sell polo shirts with good quality for uh, half of the price. We can sell swimsuits or skinny jeans, but there the quality is not that high. Lastly, we can sell almond biscuits, 
with a overall rating of 70 compared to 21 so i think i have decided we can either sell groceries or we can sell clothes but since there is much more food supplies with higher quality and cheaper price i think it's better to open a grocery store as our first business what do you think